Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm Sam and welcome back to It's All Just Semantics. Today is Friday the 12th. Um, so for those of you who didn't see, I did a 24 hour write a thon on Wednesday. And, um, yeah, and it went really well. I wrote over 10,000 words and I'm really proud of myself and I caught up. And I have not written anything in that book since, unfortunately, um, because I've been really bad about it. On the plus side, though, I finished Lachlan's by Robert Jackson Bennett. It was a good book, good story. This is my least favorite book of the entire story, um, but it's mostly just because everything escalated so much in this book. It makes sense for the story. It does make... I, I, I enjoyed it still. I still gave it a four star, but... My, I liked the first two because they were much more heisty stories, and this one is less heisty, but it makes sense where they're at. So, good, not my favorite, but still very good. Yes, but I did that, and today Callie and I went to a book event, and if I have the pictures I will post them here. Um, we went and saw Lee Bardugo, who came into town, and, well, down where I work, but near where I work, and so we went and picked up The Familiar, which is her new book, which for some reason I thought was a vampire book. It is definitely not. It's definitely like a witch book. <laughs> so yes, but I'm intrigued. I am looking forward to it. I did also pick up a copy of Ninth House because I do not have one. So I decided to buy one from the author, which was, well, technically it's from an indie bookstore around here. Who's the one who's, who sponsored it. We do have another um, event next month. We're going to be seeing Christina Lauren who we have met before. Um, we met them at a Polycon. They're actually two women, but they're wonderful. They're so much fun to talk to and to um, hear talk about their books. They are so passionate about it. It's great. But that's my update. I need to do some homework right now. Uh, and I work tomorrow, but then we're off and it is my birthday on Monday. So yes, I don't really do a lot for my birthday, but where you're going out to dinner on Sunday, I believe. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's really what I got. I, um, I don't have much of an update right now because I just need to do homework. I haven't done a lot of writing, but I'm still excited where I'm at with my, with my book, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. And I think it's gonna basically kind of turn into, um, lots of, like, 3K days where I just, like, suddenly catch up to everything, and then suddenly catch up, and I, I said in my my vlog before, my last video, is they're like gonna look like stairs, because I'm gonna like be like, hey, kind of writing a little bit, and then write a lot, and then kind of write a little bit, and then write a lot, and so, it's probably how this month's gonna go. I'm just struggling with this book. I would switch projects, but it's halfway through the month, and I don't want to switch right now, so we're just gonna wait and see what happens. And I did notice that my lighting in the last video was not good, so I need to work on that, and I apologize for that, so, yes. But I finished Lachlan's. Um, I'm gonna jump into some library books next, I think, because I really do need to read those since they're due very soon, but that's what I got. I'll talk to you guys later. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front
don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes me right, so it's Sunday the 14th because I'm not good at this whole vlogging thing. But it's actually the day before my birthday. And so today we went out and we did things and I bought books. They're downstairs though. Um, but I got several books from Half Price and then a book from Barnes & Noble. And we renewed my membership. And um, we went out for lunch and then we went out to dinner with some friends. And now John and I are going to hang out in the office. And I'm going to do some writing, and he's going to play games. And he's sneaking in the door, and you can see him. Just a little bit in the corner. <laughs> Can't see him. Okay. Um, but as far as how writing has been going, it's been going slowly. <laughs> it's been going slowly. I have been writing. Not as much as I would have liked. I'm behind again. But only by, like, 3,000 words or so. So not too bad. I think I can catch up pretty easily. Would you like to be in the video, dear? You can't see that. My head's at the very top of the frame. <laughs> Here, I'll lean back. Now you can do it. Now go for it. There we go. <laughs> I'm a moose. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going to play? La leyenda de Mela, el ukulele del tiempo. That's not that's not what you're playing at all. <laughs> there, you want to come tell tell the people what you're playing or no? Tell the people. So John has a kind of a fun little setup. Oh, I'm gonna, my battery's gonna die. Hold on. <laughs> we got a new battery. So he is going to be playing this game because he has a GameCube. You cannot see that. There you go. Here, come closer. Yeah. This is what we're playing. He's playing. I'm not playing. He's playing because he does actually have a GameCube up here. Yes. And the GameCube's up here, mm -hmm. and so is, is there anything else up here? No, there's nothing else up here, but I have, with the intent to set up the N64 one at a time, because I was told only one system at a time. <laughs> we can't put all of the systems yes, up here can. right now. <laughs> we yeah, could. We, we have, could. We have the technology. We have the technology. Um, but he is... Well, actually, you kind of decided that a little bit, too. Did I? Yeah, you were the one who said you didn't want to have all of them Don't up here. Me under the bus. <laughs> Anyways, the GameCube is hooked up up here. You fit just you were just playing. What were you playing before? I was playing Soul Calibur. He was playing Soul Calibur for a while. Yeah, Soul Calibur two. Can you so see a theme? This one. Can, yeah, there. Can you tell what his favorite? One of my. Favorite. One of your favorite players is. The other one Character. is. Yes, one of his favorite characters in video games is. It's Link. Fun fact: It's Link. Um, Zelda. You like the Legend of Zelda. But we're going to do that for a while, because we still hang out, but we do our own thing. This is how we do it. So yes. This is how we do it. So yeah, that's that's the plan. Um, but he did get you did get tired of that one. I did get tired of Soul Calibur because there's a lot of re rinse and repeat of it, and I'm done. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And I'm gonna work on Sanders' book, although. Unfortunately, one of the hardest things for me this month, which you may have noticed, is I am very much in a fantasy mood. Um. <laughs> um, but we have, I've been in a very much a fantasy mood, but I'm writing a romance book that is completely contemporary romance. And that's, it's proving much more difficult, but I don't want to switch right now, but I might not hit the 50,000 this month. We'll see, though. I would like to. You're at least 10. Yeah, I am <laughs> at least 10 in. I'm 16 in, actually. Um, I have hit over 17,000 words so far this month. I do need to be at 23. Ooh. Alright, let's write a whole bunch today, guys. Um, it's 7.30 right now. We're going to do some writing, and John's going to do some gaming, so... You will get B-roll, but it will not have music in the background because I don't know if this is copyright or not, and I don't want to get any in into any trouble with that. So I'm gonna turn this off now because he does have the music playing. Right. It's All okay. Right. <laughs> um, but because of that, we're not. Gonna, I'm not gonna have B footage that has sounds of typing for this 
for this video. I do think I'm going to do another Write With Me soon, so that might be another one that'll be up later. But, yes. Alright, that's my update, and I'll talk to you guys later. I just miss you more than anything It's way too quiet in the house I'm just wasted on the couch Cause I don't wanna feel anything Wish you'd stay Stay here beside me This isn't how it's supposed to be Wish you'd stay Can't shake the feeling that we said goodbye too soon. I know the hours getting late. I shouldn't sit here contemplating. I just can't stop thinking about us. I won't forget a single thing From drunken nights to Sunday mornings And how you smile at me Wish you'd stay Stay here beside me This isn't how it's supposed to be Wish you'd stay Stay here right with me I can't shake that feeling April 15th. It is Monday. It is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. I am choosing to appear and write for right now. Um, John and I had dinner and we talked for a long time. Um, it's been a bit of a rough day, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna try to make it through without breaking down because I've just had that bad of a day, honestly. <laughs> um, which really sucks, but we move on and we keep going. I've come to a realization, though, and this is one that um, does not make me happy, but I don't think I'm going to get my 50k in Sanders book. I really don't think I'm going to get there. I, I don't think at all it's going to get there. So I'm very, very close to giving up on that goal for this month, mostly because every time since I did my 10k last week, um, trying to get in there and write more of this book has been a big struggle. And I know some people are like, oh, just push through, push through. I can't on this one, or I know I'm going to dislike the story. And I love this story. I'm not in the mental space to write this story. So I have a new project that I haven't talked about at all yet. Um, because I just started it. I haven't really even done much for it. 
I'm calling it Project Zoop. Sorry. I'm calling it Project Soup. It's a fantasy. It's... I think it's going to be a high fantasy. Um... And it's going to be a story within a story. So it's going to be the story of someone telling a story. Uh, so yes, yeah, kind of the first binding, name of the wind kind of style. But in high fantasy um, and a parent telling their child a story. So it's a bit cozy, but it's also going to be an adventure story. So I'm just, that is the mood I'm in. And I said this at the beginning of the month that I am in a fantasy mode right now. And I am in a mood to write this story. So I'm going to start writing it, honestly. I'm just, I'm switching. Because I am not going to force myself to write in a story that I want to do well someday when I can't come up with anything for it. And writing. I think I wrote 800 words yesterday, and it was a, it was a struggle to write that much. And for the way that I write, I know that means that I'm not in the mental space, in the head space, to write that book. And unfortunately, that means that my romance series is on hold until I can get into that head space. And unfortunately, right now, I am just not there. I am in a mood to go on an adventure. I'm in the mood to tell stories and to create this a different world. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to spend the rest of the month just writing what comes to mind for this story. So I'm calling it Project Soup. And I'm very excited to be working on it. I do think I will do a video where I'm going to show you guys kind of what I do when I start a new project. So we will do that eventually as well. And I'll kind of walk you guys through what I do to prep for a brand new project, since that's what I'm doing now, apparently. Um, so this is going to be a camp that I will fail. And I acknowledge that now, and that's okay. I'm honestly really okay with that. Um, but I've just kind of been, like, writing random scenes from this Project Soup, and it's... I'm writing thousands of words of ideas to, in a day. It's like, this idea has me, and I need to write it. So I'm going to write it, and we're going to see where it goes. All right? So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I don't have much, honestly. Like, I have these vague scenes and ideas, and I keep writing that, but I don't have anything super solid. I need to develop the world very much so, and this is going to take a while. This is going to be probably a two-year project at least. But I'm so excited to get back into fantasy. It's been so long. It's been a while since I've had this much of a drive to write fantasy. So, and I know I didn't finish Sanders' book, but I've been struggling with it, and I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about that book, but I struggle with writing it so much. One of these times, I will just force myself to read it, um, or to write it, and I will just finish it. But right now, I cannot do that. I am not mentally able to do that. So, this is me putting Sanders' book down for now. I'm putting it to the side, and I'm switching, which I've never done in the middle of a nano, I don't think. Maybe I have. I don't know right now. I really don't. But it's so weird because I did just write 10,000 words in one day in this project less than a week ago, and now I have nothing. I have nothing. And I hate it. And so... But we're going to start this project because it's one that my brain will not let go of. And we're going to see what happens. Yeah, so. This is new. I haven't done this before. I don't know what's going to happen. But we're going to start a new project in the middle of doing a project.
And this is Abuelita, the hot chocolate I keep talking about. Because John asked me what I wanted as my, my snack for, but for my birthday. And I wanted Abuelita, so he made me Abuelita. It feels better. I already feel better just saying that and deciding that I'm going to commit to doing that. Because I have a feeling I'll be able to write Sanders' book when I'm not forcing myself to. Because I, I have been able to get something on that before. So that is my hope. I'm also not in a romance mood lately. I really have lost that drive recently. But I also haven't read any romance books lately either. And I'm currently... I just finished a fantasy book, and I'm currently um, working on uh, Under the Smoke Strewn Sky by A. Deborah Baker, which is also a very whimsical story, fant fantasy story, that this is the last book in the series, and I'm over halfway through. I'm loving it. It's, it's really sweet. It's really adorable. I'm going to finish it tomorrow at work. Um, but, yeah, so... There we go. All right. That's what I got for you guys right now. I'll probably check in tomorrow. But that's my big update. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. So we are much less emotional today. It is the 17th. It is Wednesday. It is post me up, uh, editing this vlog. Um, and just a quick little update here. Yesterday I did write a little bit in Project Soup, but what I did do was I picked up um, the co-author fantasy that I've been working on with my best friend for years, and I wrote 5,000 words. So to say I'm in a fantasy mood, I think is an understatement. <laughs> but... Um, Yes, I'm, I'm going back to that one and then Project Soup and I'm very excited and I do feel so much better not forcing myself, wow, what is with the hair? Not forcing myself to write Sanders book right now. I will get back to his book, but I'm not, I'm still not in the mood to write his book. I'm, I, I can't do it. I can't force myself to write that book right now. I thought about it. I considered it. Not gonna happen. So, we're sitting at, I think it was 18,000 words written in Sanders' book. As of today, I am, again, 10,000 words behind where I should be. I'm not doing a 10k day today, but I will still work on it. But I thought I would update you on the fact that switching has meant that I'm just writing again. So technically, I wrote 5,000 words yesterday <laughs> because Suddenly, I went ham on the fantasy. And that doesn't include the thousand words I wrote in Project Soup. So, suffice to say, this is what I needed to do. But, that's what I got for you guys here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help me out. I know there are several of you who are starting to show up, and I'm really excited for you guys to join me in my journey on attempting to become a published author. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.